And, you know, people have been talking about an AI bubble for a while, right? Do I think we're in a bubble? Yeah, I mean, we're definitely in a hype phase. But let's go back sure. to the most famous bubble of all, right? At least in the tech industry. But uh, there were people crying about a dot-com bubble as early as 1996. They weren't wrong, but they were saying that we're already at the peak of the bubble and things were about to crash. And obviously the crash really came closer to the year 2000, right? But there's going to be a lot of false prophets of doom in any bubble. And I think personally, I think we're closer to 96, 97 than we are to 99, 2000. Agreed. The AI bubble. Uh, because you're seeing a lot of the same things, right? First, there was everybody and their cousin became an AI expert. Everybody and their cousin started an AI company, right? But then what started to happen about midway through you started seeing consolidation and deal, deal making. And in the last week or two, we've seen uh, NVIDIA basically mm -hmm. um, taking a big stake in um, Intel, right? Then you have OpenAI making a deal with AMD, right? I had effectively written off AMD uh, like as, as, as long ago as like a couple of years ago, because you just see NVIDIA going up and up and up and AMD kind of like, eh, you know, I had written them off, but when you see the relationship, now I know there's some funny money and there's some some interesting kind of dynamic between Sam Altman and uh, and the AMD teams, but just the fact that a open AI can kind of bring them back into the game, right? It's not, they didn't say they're going to win, didn't say that, but they're back at least at being a contender, which is impressive, right? Because as, as recently as two weeks ago, I'm like, don't even worry about them. They're, you know, they're so far behind NVIDIA, right? And, but now... But, now, I mean, <laughs> it just goes to show you it's still anyone's game, right?